Hello, welcome fellow traders. AMP Futures here presenting another how to video. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to create alerts using the TradingView mobile app. Now, creating alerts are a nice feature because it's going to allow you to receive alert notifications. You can either have it sent to your email address, text message, anytime you set a specific condition for an alert to be triggered. And let's go ahead and show you where to access these alerts. So, right now, we're looking at the micro e mini SP 500 chart. On the bottom of the app, you'll see where it says ideas, and right above it, there's a little plus sign. We're gonna click that plus sign, and you'll see on the left side there where it says alerts. Now, it's pretty straightforward as far as creating the alert. You can see the condition where it's defaulted to crossing, so you can hit the drop-down menu and see all the different conditions that you can set for the alert, such as crossing up, crossing down, greater than, less than, etc. Simply choose the condition of your choice. Right now, we'll leave it on the default setting as crossing. That just basically means that whenever the market crosses the specific price that we set for the alert, the alert's gonna get triggered. You also have the duration or how many times the alert will actually trigger. You can have it set to only once. For example, the alert will only trigger once and will not be repeated. Or if you select every time, the alert will trigger every time the condition is met, but not more than one time per minute. For now, we'll keep it on only once. You also can set an expiration to the alert as well. Just simply choose a time and date when you want that to expire. You can also create an alert name. So let's call this, for example, AMP Alert. And also a message. We'll leave it as is and we'll create it. Now how you know the alert has been created, you can look on the chart, you can see there's a little arrow there with a dotted line, and also on the bottom right corner, you'll see right above the menu option, the button with three dots, you'll see alert management right above bar replay. And you can see that there's our active alert. So our active alert for the micro S&P 500, if it crosses the price of 56.03 and a quarter. All right, so that's ready to go and working. Now if you wanna make any changes to the alert, just simply click the alert, you can either pause it, you can edit it, you can clone it, or you can delete it. If I go to edit, this allows me to change any configurations for the alert. So let's just say I want to change the price to 56.03 even, or 56.02 is fine. We'll save it, and now you can see the alert has been set to 56.02. Let's go back to that area, bottom right corner. Oh, actually, you know what? The alert just got triggered. So you can see now the alert goes away off the chart because we only had it set to trigger once. Now if we go in the bottom right corner, notice there's like a little red dot there where the three dots are. That's letting you know there's a notification so if we click on it, and we go, you can see now the alert manager has a red dot. That's letting you know there's a notification. If you click on the log, you can see there that the alert's been triggered. And you can see the exact date and timestamp as well. All right, so I can clear it out so we don't you know, accumulate a bunch of already completed alerts. If we go back to the list, you'll see that there's an expired alert. So if we don't need it anymore, we can probably just click on it and just simply delete it so it's cleared out. And now we're back to a clean slate. Let's go ahead and create one more. So bottom right corner, right above ideas, we're going to click that plus sign, go to alerts, and this time we'll change the condition to crossing up. We'll keep the price as is, and we'll do it every time. And now we'll create it. And now you can see the alert has been created. How you know, if you go in the bottom right corner, click the button with three dots above menu, go to alert management, and there's our active alert. And last but not least, when you go into the alerts, I want to show you one thing real quick. Let's actually go back to the existing alert that we have. We'll go to alert management, we'll click on it, and we're going to go ahead and edit it. And you can see here under notifications, you have different options. So for example, push notifications, you can show toast notification on desktop, you can have it send an email. So there's pretty advanced ways of sending alert notifications. Just be sure to choose your preference and you'll be able to set notifications specifically for the alert you create. And this is how you create alerts using the TradingView mobile app. 